the kids by using my lived experience as a First Nations youth in care to inform my advocacy, as well as by amplifying the voices of fellow youth and advocating for the changes that we need to see in the systems that we exist within. I stand up for kids by engaging systems leaders in looking at our collective policies, practices, and procedures on how we can strengthen the system in order to support our most marginalized children and youth who are in care. I stand up for kids by showing young people that they are powerful and that every youth who've aged out of foster care and who's experienced the child welfare system in some way can speak truth to power and make that change that they need to see. I understand that systems are changeable and that policy is changeable and that we can make people listen if we are organized and if we are loud enough. And so we help parents and caregivers um, connect with one another through our mentors and buddies. We offer system navigation, helping them find the resources. We, through our parent-to-parent -parent support network, do advocacy work alongside of the parents. We are standing up together with the parents and caregivers. How do I stand up for kids? I lead Inspire, a national charity that is dedicated to supporting First Nations, Inuit, and Métis youth to realize their potential through education and training. We do this by providing role models, mentorship, and much needed financial support. Ensure that the voices of vulnerable children and youth are heard. I think we have to support the parents of those children, but even more important is the motto of Woods Homes where I've been for 35 years, never giving up, never saying no, and never turning anyone away.